What's going on everybody and welcome back again to another video of MFF Learn. So today in this video, I am going to review Apocalypse in the JVR Dormammu and uh, we're going to see that uh, this character is good in the JVR Dormammu or more worst than as compared to WBL because in my previous video, I, I reviewed him in the WBL and there he disappointed a lot. So let's see what will going to happen next in the JVR Dormammu. So if I talk about the states, so currently energy attack is 67,000 and HP is 122k. And if I go with the quick build of this character, so all of the states are capped and I'm going with the CTP of Mighty Rage. And currently all the skills are at max level, level 10 and but the character gear is still at 25. And the card setup which I'm going to use is card deck 2 which include 115% of all basic attack and 25% of peers. So you guys can pause the video and uh, you guys can read the card setup carefully so that you guys will get to know each and everything. So without wasting your time, let's start and uh, let's dive into the GBR Ocean. So level 80 Apocalypse against GBR Dormammu. Let's see how much time you will going to take to complete this run. And uh, I am going with the double support of Mysterio and Enchantress. So starting with the 2 cancel, 1 cancel, 3 cancel, 4 damage cancel, 5. So skill 5 you need to delay cancel 4 skill because uh, there is a lot of damage in the 5th skill as well as in the T3 skill. So as you can see from the first we almost completed all the parts. Just a few left and uh, I think he can complete in the one shot. So let's see and let's go with the one shot 2, 1, 3, 4, 5 and we complete it okay great so he took around 34 seconds to complete first phase still not impressed with this performance because uh, i tried a lot of time still i'm not getting that performance or that run which i want to and which i want to show you but uh, i think this is the best run as far as i can do so yeah so the best best thing is that recovery skills and uh, yeah he have a recovery of 30% of HP from the force skill and apart from the force skill there is no skill which contains recovery of HP so I was shocked to see that how he is going to survive in the PvP game mode because most of the states and most of the skills are for PvP so yeah that is the another topic but uh, we're going to cover that in other video and coming with the rework i think this is the worst that net marvel can do but still we have to appreciate it eh? and we complete it in one minute and 43 seconds one minute and 43 seconds this character is at level 80 and uh, if we compare the build of this character with the timer then I think uh, the build is really great and OG build but still he is not performing well he is lacking a lot of things he is lacking buff he really required damages more buff because as we can see that uh, the the lot of damages came from the rage proc and the fifth skill and uh, somewhere in the second skill also so if we get more damages uh, more buffs then it will be really great because if we talk about the second skill because as I can see from the second skill there is a lot of perk but uh, still damage looks low. So there is a stunt and bleed in this skill and incapacitation. After that it, it, it also removes active buffs from the target and 100% um, chance to grant all immunity effect also. And if I talk about the fifth skill because uh, a lot of damage came from the fifth skill as well as T3 skill as we can see from the video so there is a stunt and incapacitation again after that it's invincibility of 5 second and uh, it's only for the 5 second and uh, there is no need or there is no use in the PvE game mode basically it applies and uh, it will be really great for the PvP runs and uh, from the T3 skill there is a lot of buff but still if we get more buff in the T3 skill then it will be really great. If we get 180 or 200 for one attack then it will be really great because as we can see we have other good character as compared to this character that they all 
best and uh, good in the JBR Dormammu and WPL as compared to this. So we have a really great example. Wolverine, he is still good and uh, best for the PvE also. So if you guys want to build this character for PvP, then you guys can go. Otherwise, you can guys can stay with the PvP also. So yeah, I think uh, Apocalypse need buff for the PvE. But uh, let's see for the PvP, I haven't tested him yet in the PvP. And uh, currently, I have a CDP of Mighty Liberation and a Conquest. So I'm thinking to go with the Conquest. So let's see uh, how he will going to perform with the Conquest. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. That's all for today. And that's all from my side. If you guys have opinion, any comment and comment box is for you. So make sure to like this video and share this with your friends, family and girlfriends. So that's it, that's all for today, till then, thanks for watching.